Alright, hello everybody, Jackson98 here, and welcome to another Let's Play Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate video. In the last part, we ended off taking on the uh, Azur Rathalos, and actually um, had a bit of a commentary issue with our with the new Elgato that I got, so hoping, hoping to not have that issue now. Um, I've kind of looked up some tutorials on how to fix those issues, and uh, hopefully we can get that fixed and everything. So we're going to take on the Sand Barioth here today. Um... So let's head on out there. Here we go, guys. So the key quests for Nine Star are the Sand Barioth and the Nargut Kuga. So you have to defeat both of those to get unlock more quests in this. The um, the three of the triple monster quests are not required to do, and neither is the Azerathalos. So um, yeah, not gonna worry about that. I mean, we're gonna do them, but because we have to to get the final quest of the game. But you know. Um, that's just if you're only in it for the key quests. So anyway, we're going to go try to find the Sand Barioth. I believe it's going to spawn out in the main desert area. Area 9, I believe it's called. Can't, I don't know for sure. I think it's Area 9. Either that or 10. But I'm pretty sure it's 9. So we're going to hope it's in 9. All right, and there it is out there in area nine. So let's head on out there and let's let's kill this guy. Let's defeat him and destroy his face without him noticing us. Ha! Huh. Took him some time. He's slow. Ah! Oh, I was gonna try to get the uppercut off. I should have gone for that the spin first. So yeah, the Sand Barioth, instead of, um, there's actually a few, this guy actually has a few new attacks in the regular Barioth. Um, instead of using ice, he uses the sand tornadoes, and, um, so that's one thing you'll want to look out. He can also ride on those sand tornadoes and, like, spin around them towards you, so that can be a little bit dangerous, as well as his ability to make mini tornadoes, um, come off of them. So, and those mini tornadoes can come around and they can try to strike you, so that can be a little bit annoying. And we almost got hit by that. I don't know how we missed it. Um, there's a lot of glitches with those sand tornadoes where, like, if you get hit by one, it won't be possible to take damage from the other ones. So, you got, um, it's a little weird how those things work, you know. But that's how the game is sometimes. So, of course, like any Barioth, we're going to try to aim for his arms to break those so he moves slower. And, um, you know, get the head and everything. So, all that jazz. Watch out for his body slams. You know, same basic same attacks as the regular Barioth. Except he's a uh, sand form. He can create sand tornadoes instead of ice. And he's already leaving. Huh. Interesting. We did do a good bit of damage on him right there. So uh, I don't think we're going to have much of a struggle against this sand Barioth here. Because the Barioth was never a tough monster. It just moved around a lot. And if you had power, you're good. However, we're going to be in for a real treat next time. Oh, wow, he's already eating. And bam. Come on, let's get another hit off on him. Oh, he's moving around too much. Yeah, we're not going to get a good hit. He's flying like a Rathalos. You've got to be kidding me. Stay on the ground. Don't turn into a Rathalos. Nobody likes a Rathalos. There we go. Hey, we got right under his tail right there. That was pretty good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, you can smash into us all that you want. But, oh, come on, really? Your hands. Just doing so much damage with those hands. Those dangerous hands. Can we just, like, break something already? I just want him to break his arms so that we can just get him to sit down for a little bit. I hate that your stamina doesn't recover when you get knocked over like that. It really annoys me. It's like, why wouldn't it recover? Oh my gosh, stop flying. There. Oh, that, was a, that was a decent hit right there. 
Get back here, you. There we go. That's a break. Four, five. Bam. There we go. Another break. Now both of your arms have been destroyed. You have no arm strength. You have no sense of balance. It's like cutting off a cat's whiskers. That's very evil. Don't ever do that. Oh my. You will fall. I like how they implement that kind of stuff. Like if you break certain stuff, they become weaker to an extent. <clears throat> like some of their abilities aren't usable. Like this guy becomes slower if you... um, Or like not slower, but he can't land as well. He loses his sense of balance if you break his arms. And like other monsters do that kind of stuff. Um, I'm trying to think of other monsters that... Like, you know, when you sever tails and stuff, their range in is long, and like with the raven and the rat... With the raven, if you sever its tail, poison is hard... It's harder to get poisoned, and stuff like that. It's kind of cool, that little things that they add into this game. I like it a lot. And the Renopolis is charging. Come on, you're very tired right now, Mr. Barioth. Ew. Really, Renopolos? We're going to play that game? Direct hit on your face. There we go. Renopolos down. I repeat, the Renopolos is down. You ain't going to be eating any Renopolos tonight. Those Renopoloses are mine. No, I missed. Good job, Cha-Cha, whatever you did to it. Oh my gosh. That Renopolis actually kind of saved me. I could have sharpened my weapon if the Renopolis wouldn't have hit me, but I would have gotten hit by the Baryoth. Renopolis! Really? Way to cock block me! God. Oh my god, screw off. I hate that they can, like, turn while they're moving. While they're charging, they, like, turn. It's like, what is that? No. What is going... Where am I? I? I can't... I need a heal. There we go. Just needed to do that. Let him body slam. Then rain down on his parade. And break his tusks like that. I like breaking tusks. Ooh, he's gonna just stand there. I like his, like, red face. I don't know why it's so cool. Like, just the color of it. Oh, come on. I, I really like the color of the Sandbarath. He's, like, the bright orange and yellow and red. It's it's just a cool color overall. Just looks good. And I miss completely with both hits. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Get back here, you. There we go. We dished out some damage there. Some decent damage. No, he's going to escape. Oh well. He's just gonna go back to his little his little area nine. Typical Baryoth. Typical Baryoth. Where is he? Oh he's landing. Yeah, oh gosh. Well then. Just look over and just see this Baryoth charging at me like there's no tomorrow. Well, there isn't for this guy because he's going down today. It is your last day of living, Baryoth. How's that make you feel? Oh, come on. Ridiculous. That's the one thing, is I hate that rolling doesn't give you invincibility frames. And you're just going to go all the way over there where I can't hit you. Really? We're going to play that game, are we, Mr. Baryoth? That's right. You have no traction anymore. It's all gone. All gone. 
Bam. Oh, I got one hit on him there. That was that was decent. That was semi decent. Ah, oh, come on. I guess this game is really just a game of back and forth hits. How did that hit me? I want to know why. Every time I have to heal, he always stands there. It's so annoying. It's like, way to be a piss off. You. <sighs> oh my gosh. He, oh, he just moves out of the way every time. And then every time I finally get him to stand still, then all of a sudden he's... I gotta heal. Really? Alright, I'm just... I'm putting my weapon away and I'm healing my stuff back up. Because this is just a little bit ridiculous. Oh, screw off! going into area 10 to heal. Ridiculous. Alright, back in. Back into area 10. 9. Let's roll away. Wish I had like some sort of stamina sapping ability for him. Show him who's boss. Get back here. There. You like being on the ground, don't you? Lag problems there for a second. I'm hoping that doesn't screw anything up. I swear to God, if this audio just cuts itself out like it did last time, I'm going to be so flipping pissed off. <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this. This is the problem when you get new capture cards. It's like, they're good, and then they always have those little problems where it's like just the little things that get really annoying, and I just, ugh. Wish I had a better computer. Because my computer is probably not good enough for this capture card, and that's probably what's keeping it from being good. But, you know what? Sometimes we all gotta settle. We gotta do what we gotta do. Oh my gosh, come on. Kill the thing already. You just need to die. Oh my god. Get. Why can't I move? I'm so mad right now. There. Done. Okay, I'll see you guys back at Moga Village where we'll take on, not take on, we'll end the video. See you guys there. That's going to be it for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe if you want to see more Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate content. So, thanks guys for watching the video, and the next time we take on the Nargus.